All right, so we'll get started. Which reminds me, Lynn, you were headed as we. I'm gonna even call it ending last episode. People were just really tired, <coughs> and falling asleep, and uh, I think confused by the whole portal dimension thing that was going on as well. That our break turned into just calling it. So we'll call this continuation on the last episode. Uh, and Lynn, do you remember where you were headed? Somebody had something for you. I had a haunted face. <laughs> yes. <coughs> okay. You had one. Um, not anymore. I was upset about it. I was not happy. You turn the whole volume up. It was going to get really low. Lynn, say something now. If you jog my memory, uh, it... it will help. I just, I mostly remember being freaked out about having a haunted. You wear it. I, I wear my face? No. The, the thing you're supposed to re be remembering is something that you wear. It was made for you. Run, girl, run. What? They're trying to catch you. You're, you're headed to the stronghold. Black Hat said that Dernick wanted to speak to you at the oh, blacksmith right. shop. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had some special armor made. I can catch up, but I just take a lot longer. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm very, I'm, ve I'm both very sleep deprived, and I've been kind of pre-gaming a lot. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. What's what so called D and D? I'll take one. Well, I guess the D in my case is helping. <laughs> sure. Any that twenties? Nope. It's a low man. All right. So. Not very really good in that one. <sighs> Where we left off, you guys have just entered your little pocket portal, your private pocket portal, the triple P. Yeah. Nice. We can call it the, the quadruple P because it has four sides P -P? to figure it out. P P? Yeah, it's the quadruple P, the personalized pocket portal. Portal. Yeah, personalized polyhedron. Portal pyramid. I don't know. But it's not a pyramid. It's not a pyramid, it's a polyhedron. Yeah, it's a personalized pocket portal polyhedron. Yeah, it gets straight, Gary. P-Cube. The P-Cube. I like it. <laughs> the P-Cube, it's actually a triangle. All right, anyways. Um, you guys have just busted out of there. Widget is back in action, kind of, figuring himself out. Uh, Aren't we all? Giko got his reward. He has that sweet new potion now. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, Lynn, you'll start heading towards... The Wait, stronghold? you didn't say what Lexi got. I meant Al. What did Al get? Al got, I believe, a hat of illusion or hat of disguise. Yeah. She traded it for a ring of regeneration, which uh, Giko is rocking now. Um, I'm cut off my tail. Can I cut it off? Can I cut his tail off? Can I cut your tail off? But I want to see it regrow. Did you just say you're going to cut off your face? No, his my tail. tail. Oh, oh, oh. starving. Mm -hmm. You can eat Giko, Giko. tail. Parts of Giko. Oh, I do like Gator. Part of the game, right? Wait, would it grow back? Yes, because he has a ring of regeneration. Uh -huh. Well, also, and also he's a lizard. Also yeah. a lizard boy, yeah. Mm, we don't do that usually, but our... <laughs> <laughs> Not usually. It's... Uh, before you kind of peace out, uh, Lynn, Dawn, Pagan's going to uh, ask you guys if you'll be attending the uh, new Knowles ritual tonight. New knows. Yeah, it's what uh, it's what uh, you know is calling his um, his refresh. Oh, his more publicly acceptable knows. Yeah. You know, I su I suppose in a one hundred years, someday when knows are are considered equals like everyone else, then my 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 opinions on them will seem quite antiquated and racist. What are your what are your opinions on them right now? Well, I mean, I was never a fan of them before, but now it seems like they can be civilized sapient creatures. So, you know, yeah, it's it fine. A, it takes a little bit of a uh, of medicine and a, a sharp tool, but uh, yeah, this is like white men can't jump. <laughs> a little bit of medicine and a sharp tool, but he's on. Um, He's uh he's saving a few, I guess, or liberating, I guess, is a yeah. better term for you. You know how to dream. Out. You know how to dream. Yeah. One day, 
one day. He wanted his gnolls, gnolls to have the freedom to choose for themselves whether they would be savage or not. No, that's not at all. Yeah. Whether they would be savage or not. Oh. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he's like, yeah, they all uh, they'll probably start gathering. I can't tell you guys too much except don't eat before you go to it. Um, is it like swimming? Swimming? You know, like if you eat before swimming, and no, you get no, a Charlie no. horse. If you eat before this, it might just be a waste of food. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, they only they gather about dusk over by the town center. I hit a point. Why you purge and purge, baby? Yeah, are we all purging. Is that what's happening? We all purge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when he points over there, you'll notice that it looks like the message board has been moved to like the sign in the front of town, and there are uh, some notes on the sign uh, as well over at the, the center or at the front of town. But um, yeah, aside from that, he's like, okay, uh, yeah, I've got some stuff that I gotta take care of, and Black Hat's like, yes, uh, I do as well. Uh, Lin, if you could, Lin, Don. <laughs> who is, who is Lin? <laughs> she Sorry, sounds I have a cough. wonderful. I have a cough. Yes, she's very nice. She's, I see her sometimes in my dreams. Uh, but uh, if, you could, if you could meet me in my mayoral quarters later, I have uh, something very personal that I need to talk to you about. He wants to do it. Wow. Uh, wow. Excuse me, I am a, I am a lady of soon. Which is admittedly <laughs> love and beauty, but you know, you have to at least take me out to dinner. I will make sure to have... This is not what I was talking about, but now that I know, oh, yeah. I am going to make sure that they have something for us to eat when we get there. <coughs> oh, jolly good! Yes, this is this is a very exciting uh, development for uh, Black Cat. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> He goes, he starts heading over towards the mayor's quarters. Uh, Pagan starts heading towards uh, the stronghold. Um, did you want to head towards the stronghold too, Lynn? Okay. Say you go Is first. Don finally going to find love as a paladin? You could. Are you paladins could. like. Finally, yeah. finally find that final thing, but that final black cat to rock. <laughs> do do pal paladins uh, don't have like a celibacy okay. now, right? What? Paladins don't have like a celibacy vow, right? I mean, I imagine some of them do, but the goddess of love and beauty wouldn't. Okay, I agree. I think, yeah, it's probably based upon your deity. Yeah. Yeah. I got a little freaky in my in my younger days. It's initiation, man. <laughs> I mean, probably. I'll drink to that. Lynn, did you want to bang? bang? <laughs> uh, right, right now? It's a, it's a drink. It's I, a drink. I'm going to need a little bit more warm-up. I don't this, know. This episode sponsored by... Bang. Purple Unicorn Bang Energy Drink. Rainbow Unicorn Bang Energy Drink. <laughs> That's what I meant, is warm up the drink. is Because <laughs> it's great when toasted. All right. Like me. Okay. Taco, what are you doing? Um, all right. So, you enter the stronghold. You see there's a moderate amount of sparring going on. The uh, porticullis is still closed over the opening to the mine as it was this morning. Bulger, ping, 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 hammers on uh, what I assume is a very small anvil because of the sound effect that I made. Um, <clears throat> and the door to the blacksmith shop stands stands open. Just a little ball peen hammer. <laughs> I should have done clang, clang, but I did ping, ping. ping, ping. So that's, that's... Making a little teeny dagger for a baby. Yes. Ah, this butter knife is almost done. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> butter won't know what hit it. Finally, dig into that baby. <laughs> I mean, Kiko needed a new dagger. Mm -hmm. That's not fair. So, would you like to go see Dernick? Yeah. All right. So, you enter. Let me make sure I find this. There we go. You enter Dernick's establishment. It's actually Bulger's Guild Goods and Dernick's kind of training him, if uh, you guys remember from any previous uh, episodes. But uh, when you enter, <clears throat> Dernick will hear your footsteps and he'll say, Aye, what can I do for you? 
before turning what around. What does he look like again? Dernick is like the dwarven blacksmith. Older guy. Oh, okay. When okay. The mind so he's he about he's about my height. Okay. Yeah. yeah. About your height. Uh, and he says, I was I was told to to uh, uh, enter this establishment mm. because I was told that you may have something for me. Mm. The rumor be that ye not be taking any payment for the work that you're doing for our town. Is that true, well, little why lady? Why would I? Well, everybody else seems to be taking it. I can only take what I must replace. Otherwise, everything else you just can donate to the, the Church of Soon, if you so choose. And what do you have? Or to the poor. <laughs> or to people who are ugly, I guess. <laughs> and what do you have? Love and beauty, I don't know. That needs replaced, then? Wait, what's that? And what do you have that needs replaced, then? Oh, well, I, I do suppose my armor is getting a bit, you know, haggard. Hmm. It's taken a few 100,000 or so blows. Ah, well, you've caught it's me. It's like my ex. Ha ha ha! You've caught me at a bit of a disadvantage, then, for I only have this ready for you! And he pulls a sheet off of <laughs> what you would describe as a suit of shining plate mail. And he says, <laughs> and he says, for the low, low, teeny, tiny price of just keep doing your job. Then I could give this <coughs> plate mail to you. It's built for it be built for a dwarf, but I think you may be able to squeeze in with all of them muscles you got. Oh my word! Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit right now about my halfling people. Okay. All right, my halfling people, we're all about fucking celebrating gifts, dude. Like, I would be throwing a party for this gift oh. that, that you're giving me. So, like, this is blowing my shit right now. So, I'm going to, like, drop to my knees and then, like, like bow and then just be like, Oh, I'm not worthy, good <laughs> sir. Oh, oh, my goodness. This will keep my, my, my skin intact for... For that much longer. Oh, oh my goodness. What, whatever can I do? Oh, tomorrow I shall sing your praises all day. And then I'm going to just talk and talk. All, all, all right. All right. Let's, let's not get over that now. But, uh, they just keep me doing things around town. And, uh, as far as parties be concerned, you might want to talk to Black Cat. That I will. Perhaps, He's a saucy one. Perhaps... There's going to be a chance. Also, please don't be telling too many people about this. I'm gonna go straight there and ask for some food. Well, I mean, I'm going to wear it. Should I, like, cover it up, or...? Uh, tell him that you're gravely indebted to Dernick. Okay, well, that's easy yeah, enough. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Who does that take these days? Let, let me just write this down in my journal, wherever I put... Yes, it be called... Shining Plate Mail. Would it perhaps be in the shop? It would have been, yes. Yeah, so she probably can see it. <laughs> oh, well, then I can just copy it off of that, but I'm gonna also write down that I owe it to Jernig and... It does give you a plus one to any persuasion or intimidate checks. Oh, it says Cheeks. How did I miss that? That's why I was gonna get it. I'm like, hell oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get those Cheeks. <laughs> Woo! Wait, <laughs> I get advantage on all Nora, Cheeks? Yeah. To oh intimidate. shit, dude! Be <laughs> clapping the fuck out of everything. Yeah, I can't sneak. I have disadvantage on stealth checks in my plate mail because the clap of my shiny cheeks. <laughs> uh, intimidate cheeks. Bite my shiny metal ass! Oh, I can say it. Against soldiers, peasants, nobles, bandits, brigands, or mercenaries. <coughs> okay. No, oh, it's spelled Dernig D U R. Spell it. D U R N I K. Is his name? 
Okay, and it's it's spell spell the name of the shop. Of the what? Of the shop he's at. Oh, the shop is Bulger's Guild Goods. B U L G R S. Guild Goods. Alrighty, I got it. Thank you. So now I can just be like, oh, I tip, I tip my hat to Dak and Bulger's Guild Goods, and so then. That yeah, give me your old armor, and we'll call it fair. Mm. Oh, done and done, but I'm afraid it's, you know. A bit long in the tooth. As is my do I'm sorry, my ass. I what? almost said it without a <laughs> euphemism, you know what I- Alright, I'm gonna just be like, uh, oh, oh wait, this would be inappropriate. Hold because I have like, three other layers of like, under padding. I don't know if you've ever worn armor before, but there's like a gambeson that you wear underneath, and then like a bottom layer, so it's like, even then, I still wouldn't be indecent, but it would be indecent. So I'm gonna go into like a side room, and I'm okay. gonna change, I'm gonna get all cool, and I'm gonna hand that shit to him. Yeah, he'll he'll shyly avert his gaze as well. All of the gaze that he has, he's averting it. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just so you can just swap that out, give him back whatever you had on beforehand. Uh, annotate that on there as well, and he says, uh, I think he may have one more opportunity to, uh, to pay us back for this. But, uh, later. You'll hear later. Now, oh, I've worked to do! I've three and a half years of my life and also the life of my ass, but... <laughs> but, bit, uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. I mean, I would do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got work to get back after. Remember, our little secret. Oh, sure thing. Our right. little secret that you made this up. All right. You got it. Uh, so you can head back out. Do you have any uh, pamphlets that you would like me to hand out? <laughs> A business card? No. Thank you. It helped me to help you. <laughs> no. Let me get I'm gonna to start the world's first marketing. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys on LinkedIn? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how about you two? What are you doing, Al? What are you doing, Al? <coughs> what you doing? God, Taco looks so fucking adorable right now. Do you want to? Holy shit. Do you want to help me with something? Uh, There's a house that I might have said was empty, but it's not actually empty. You need help with it? Yeah. <laughs> I can help you with it. Hell yeah. I'm bored! Um, oh, okay. Is a house that's empty? <sighs> this. We're finally getting to this. I want to go on an adventure too. I had this <laughs> Yeah, Lynn, I'll say that, like, you're not very. You're like fucking two turns away from them, so we'll say that you're working your way back to them. My I, eyes! Oh my god! I, uh, <laughs> this <laughs> It's the I'm, sun! I'm strutting, and like, the sun's like, glaring off of me in all directions, and I'm just like... She's got like the Conor McGregor going to the fight strut. Yeah. Oh, oh, big time, yeah. <laughs> Can I roll, um, a perception check on this, him asking me to go to this building to help him? Uh, that would probably be more of an insight. <laughs> okay, then insight? Because are you, are, what did you tell, tell her? Uh, so your insight versus your deception if it was something. Yeah, because the house isn't empty. Oh, so just do just do an insight. Okay. We'll see how that rolls. Well, um, Not, okay, so maybe he can mess up too. I got an eleven. I got an eleven. <laughs> oh man, it's like the battle of the wills. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think you got the you have the idea that uh, you don't know much more than that aside from something's up. <laughs> okay, so I'll be on. High alert. For the empty house? For this empty house, okay. following you to this empty house. Yes. Yeah. Alright. We travel to the empty to house. To the empty house, which is this one over here. Oh, that was too much. Yeah. Let me get this candle just a little bit. Oh, I put out one of the candles. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Pagan went towards this. Lynn, Sasha, Giko, Al. 
Thykelion went back in to drink with Beck, and Nougat is currently trying to find explosives to kill this cow. I thought they were friends. That's Again? Yeah. Yes. It's a hate lover. So Nougat's going to chill right there. Uh, Yino will also probably head over to, as the orc, the gnolls are over here, to start uh, letting them know about tonight. Uh, goblin, goblin. Okay. Okay. So you approach the shop. Now that Giko's here, Giko didn't think this far ahead. This house is not empty. I was just gonna be like. Giko's gonna go. I'm not sure I could keep up the, the ruse. Uh, it's just a big old jerk in there, alright? Kick me out. He wouldn't let me he's, do my thing. He's doing what in there? He's a big old jerk. He's not jerking me. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. He might be. I, I don't. I haven't been in a while, but. I mean. I don't, he has somebody who watches, so I guess. You, could you give me more more context here? I, I was excited that you were going on an adventure, but I don't know anything about what it is. It's the sorcerer's place. He's like a orc, but a magician. I know of him. Are oh, we really? like yeah. going to sneak up on him for some reason? Or? No, he has like a portal. And portal? Yeah, he will give us visions if we complete his quest. You are acing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And I wanted to do it, but he said I needed to bring my friends, so oh. I told him no, but then what? I thought about it and now I. Why did you wait until we were arriving just outside of his establishment to tell him? You say that like Giko has a plan, and Giko does not have a plan, alright? Giko does not have a plan. Okay, Giko's so do you think we should just go in and ask? I think it's, like, we don't have to be secret about it. I don't know why you guys are being like this, but, uh, yeah. We yeah, why were we sneaky? We're not being sneaky, that's what I'm telling you. I oh, this one die. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I assume I'm like I'm gonna get out of the sneaking. <laughs> okay, she's like, oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh. In her shining, shining. Uh, I, really, I was just, I was just working on my, you know, my squat. I think it needs some oil because you're like squeaking a little. You like, eh, 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 eh. No, yeah, it's it must be broken in, I suppose. <laughs> I imagine this would give me some disadvantage at sneaking anyway. It absolutely would. Uh, uh, knock knock. So you, you okay, so as you guys uh, approach the door, there's no visible knob. It's just the face, a brass face of an orc man, uh, and the knocker is like hung on his big protruding orc teeth. You knock the door twice. Nothing happens for a second before uh, the brass eyes on the orc open, uh, and it says, "Start your business." It is. Oh Deco. God. Here best bud <laughs> I'm here to uh, no. help you out like I promised did you bring the others two of them three if you count the ass we always count her yeah well that's better all right and the door like the face re <laughs> reshapes itself back to its original brassy form the door falls straight backwards and lands on the ground and um <clears throat> you guys may enter okay yeah it smells like a it smells like a library filled with like exclusively leather bound books in here i don't know why you need you to guys go walk party. in can i walk in and start peeing on all the books Oh my God, like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, oh, that's hell. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much harm request for this girl. This episode. This also episode sponsored. I also love harm request. It's great. Blade and pleasure. Yeah. I only wish I could animate our adventures. You do a pretty decent job. Um, yeah, first off, pictures. that'd be boss as fuck if we could. <laughs> I wish I had more time. I should. I should be drawing for like all of our sessions. I just for some for some of them I just forget. Yeah. That's all right. Um, so again, the is a large orc male in robes standing behind a small pedestal that has a book on it. His eyes are closed. He's doing sigils or magic things in one hand. He's following along with the words on uh, another hand. And you see there's two little blue floating orbs <clears throat> uh, in the room as well that are also kind of like 
floating next to some other books that are inside. It will shelf one of the books, <clears throat> and then the blue orb will float down and insert itself in the orc's face, mm -hmm. and it'll open up one of his eyes. Oh yeah, it's Christopher Orkin. Christopher oh, Orkin. Yeah. We'll figure out about him. Is he like an <clears throat> orc? And he'll say, uh... I love that guy! He'll say, uh, hello! Welcome <laughs> back, Geeko! <laughs> Now you see why I did That's something great. like you. <laughs> I That's fucking great, dude. see you've reconsidered my proposal. You only need Kiko, but Kiko brought him anyways, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is... Only one person can go in this stupid portal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who can go in the portal? Just one of us. I'll go. No. It is, it is, there are specific tests and trials that need completed. Each trial is, uh, it would be easier to complete for certain individuals. So can I Wait, so, so the whole next leg of this adventure can only be done by one of us adventure? Uh, or is it going to be like a take turns kind of situation? I would just assume that, but again, this information is hidden from me. I can tell you it won't take long, but there are multiple trials. Ugh. I will need you to return Ugh. daily Ugh. to complete them for me. This voice is And we have visions, right? <laughs> yes, I will. It sounds like a lot of work, but okay. I will perform a divination ritual for you as well as. We're doing divinations? Yes, oh, it's saying the gonna be here. <laughs> as, well, as well as I uh, offer you my wares at normal price, but that you will at least have access to them. So we don't even get a discount? You will get to buy them. So we don't get a discount? Like, no. Like, we're going all this shit and we don't even get a discount? That's kind of cool. I am divining information for you. And we can't buy your stuff? Not until you complete a trial for me. First off, bad business practices. And I don't need your money. Also, I'm gonna tell I just want to point out real quick, I've been... I just put in my information about my new... My new blinged out armor, and my armor class is now... It's what? 21. 21. 21. Damn it, it's gonna be so hard to hit you. Nobody gonna be hitting me. What's up there? Yeah. Geeko has almost the same, but backwards. <laughs> Twelve. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I did not get that. <laughs> not even gonna lie. I was like, almost well, the same. What's backwards? From Hell yeah. All right. Just kidding. My armor class is like eighteen. For this Negative initial... twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, do you have the list? For this of. of um, the store. Oh, his shop? I'm still listening, I'm just grabbing water. For this first trial, it suggests that it might be a trial of combat. Ooh. But the individual like fighting it. must be of stern resolve. <clears throat> Not one weak of charisma or constitution. The creature that you Well, face, I don't know anyone like that. The creature that you face could be fearsome indeed. And you're like, what? I mean, that doesn't sound like a problem at all. And uh, the I, wall. And, uh, I don't uh, want to boast. You're talking about charisma, but you know, I've been from place to. I don't. I don't have a charismatic follow-up for that. Hold on. I, my, also, my strip. My pants are ringing. It's a great angle that you got just straight in front of the camera there. <laughs> I have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. So if I got, this is AC 16, so do I add that to my current AC? What is AC 16? Like dragon horn scale? That would be the base AC that you would change it to, yes. You would replace No, your I'm sorry. It that. changes it. Your base is 10, that would bring it to 16. So and then you make would... my AC lower, not higher. You would add your dex. Yeah, and you still have and to add your cleric things, which I believe yeah. is dex and wisdom yeah. modifiers as well. So it'd be 16, 16 plus your dex and wisdom. 20, 21, 22. 22? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But you have to, I think, is that, I think that's medium. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm assuming I have you have proficiency, proficiency in medium. In medium, yeah. Yeah. medium, light, and heavy. And he waves his hand, and you see kind of similar to the mirror in the bar, where it reflects a different view or angle of some sort. This one looks like it's peering into a a basement area. I can go grab it for you guys and bring it out. Mm -hmm. Cherry, rock, paper, scissors. This is split mail, AC 17, so that'd make my AC even higher. Um, I do not have very high constitution. What? <laughs> yeah. You're a leader, though. Or constitution. <laughs> I thought you had the highest of us. That's why we elected you. You elected me because of my decision-making skills. Because of your charisma. Because of my decision. As the base of a party. Because of my decision. I have my charisma is 10. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys might have decided who's going to be doing this. <laughs> Hey, Lynn, what's your charisma? She's a balance. Hold on! So it's pretty high, right? Not higher than mine. Not higher, so you have to do it. I'm gonna assume that. His is is technically one higher than mine. However, you know. Constitution. He also has the opposite eight. Yep. What's your constitution, though? Uh, plus three. Okay, so I think you should fight this thing. <laughs> Geeko pushes Don into the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Are you just gonna fall into the portal? I mean, I. Uh, should I roll for acrobatics to anticipate? I'm gonna buy this. I, I don't mind being caught off guard just because what? Oh, the dragon. Point. Surprise! <laughs> Just a split oh, it's just regular split now. Yeah. Al apparently okay. walked out of these sorts. Yeah, Al is uh, place, so. shopping at other places. <laughs> Sorry. Just, like, just writing down everything that yeah, you're gonna do and then let me know. Yeah. Oh, uh, she didn't even see it. Oh, okay. So Dawn. No, I'm, I'm there. I was just. I was kind of. You don't know if this fuck? is just a dimension of chopping people up. Like, like I could just die. So Caramexiel or Christopher Orkin uh, sees Geeko do that, and he's like, "Well, that's that's one way of deciding, I suppose." Uh, and you're gonna like go through the portal and it's like almost like liquid, like a stargate, and you like immediately point and like go through it, but like very softly lower down to the ground of what looks like a ten foot ceiling into a room. While I'm falling, I'm gonna be really mad and I'm gonna be like Oh certain damage who Oh that little piece of Elvap Babasa why you kick <laughs> And I, I wonder what my neighbors think of me <laughs> doing that voice. Can you guys? Because I yell, I yell it, and I don't care really. But it's uh, funny. You can put her on top of probably the inn with Jonas, who is still inside. I think yep, that's what's keeping it from Jonas inside. Put her on top, right there. Point her down so that she can see what she's working with over here. Can you see it, Lynn? I can see a very pretty candle. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, with a little thingy in the distance, yes. So this is the basement of the Orc Sorcerers. Okay. Right. So the Sorcerers, I moved it's over It's a here. really cute name, by the way. Yeah. Um, and while you're sitting there, um, yelling and guffawing at Giko, you hear, quietly, echoing from somewhere in the chamber, Ooh. Ooh. What the hell? <laughs> Did I say ooh? You? W U? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what is my face haunted with? So she, so you, you say that. What have I done? And then you realize you can hear. I'm gonna them. go send pie. No. <laughs> you can hear them talking from upstairs, and you guys can hear what she's saying down in the basement as well. So you kind of have an angle. Your angle is... I want to know what's going on down in the basement. She's saying, ooh. (laughs) From this corner over here, and you see, you guys can see what looks like a tail coming out from behind this pillar over here. Over there. You got a creature down there. It would huh? be uh, a feline. What tail. kind of tra- What kind of tail it look like? It's a manticore. It's like a cat or something. It's a manticore. But a big one. 
Could I, could I nature? About, about your size. You can just roll a straight perception for this if you want. Like a lion or yeah, something. Look at this, man. I want to be serious now. 25? That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah! I got an 18 <laughs> plus 3. So that's 21. Just like my armor. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you switch your eyes over at this pillar that they're referencing, and you also see it would look like, I mean, you've seen tabaxi tails before. Um, but this one is, uh, it's, it's pink. It's a, it's a cat lady who has been dyed a color. A pink panther. This isn't a great mini for it, but I don't have any fucking pink minis. <laughs> oh my glory. And it's gonna come around dead the corner. Dead fucking answer, dead god damn it, I love it. I love it! So what comes around the corner is what you see as... It has a human face. That's horrifying. But big pink ears. Lots of hair. Its pupils are pink as well. Oh. It is scantily clad, basically oh. just keeping things mature rated. And when it comes around the corner, it's definitely female. <coughs> and it says, Set pie? Are you? Oh. 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 And you hear behind you, Caramexiel says, Good God, it's a cringe demon. Oh. 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 Roll initiative! <laughs> Okay, you're probably gonna be. Oh there. no! Oh god! No, they knew my only weakness. <laughs> they, I said before it was the darkness, but this is true darkness. <laughs> so there was this there was this animation a while back um, that was making fun of the Thundercats, except they were all furries instead, and they like humped all up on each other, and then the kids that were there to save the day or something were just like staring and going, oh. We don't need their help or something. Um, and that's immediately what I thought of. And now I have to find that video to post. I just wanted to add that. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, okay. What did you get for your initiative? Sorry. 19. Yeah, you I'm win. on fire today. So you win. So you go, you go first. Yeah! It okay, sees you I'm with your lance, and it says, It's so big, it'll never fit! <laughs> oh god! I, uh, well, I'm not gonna attack this thing. It, does, it, does, does it smell evil? Is it something that's gonna come and hit me? It smells like lollipops and shame. Oh god! <laughs> I'm just gonna look at it, and... I mean, my goddess is the goddess of love and beauty, right? And so somebody thinks that's beautiful. It's making so big it's... eyes at you. It's making big anime oh, eyes at you. Oh, God. Get her out of there. No! Kill it! I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go, look! Uh, uh, oh, dear. What was I supposed to. Oh. You'll remember what that you said I this, is a, this is a. Uh, Someone of strong I... will and mind, perhaps a fight against a creature. But you're welcome to do. Oh, but there was no end objective. No. Sorry, I was literally so blown away by the idea of this cat man lady that uh, I sort of lost everything. So my objective at the end of this was to just it fight seem... this boy and get out. It would seem you would hope that it might present itself to you. As you are uh, participating, I of course didn't get enough time to ask, considering I had been put. So, um, thanks by the way, Joey. Uh, so, we can uh, tell you I now. Guess, I guess I will. I'll just I'll stop, and then I'll back up towards Sacha so I can go and get on her. Oh no, Sacha's not in there with you. Oh fuck, that's right, I got pushed in there by myself. Is there nothing to, to ride in here? <laughs> no, so only one person can go in. 
Only one sentient creature, I suppose, would be the better uh, way of saying that. Oh my god, I'm bad, so bad at angling this freaking camera. So you're on your own in there right now. No soccer. Okay. What are you well, going to do? Alright, so I'm going to look at it. I'm going to say, I'm just going to go, oh. Eh. Do you mean me? Do you mean me? That's your turn? Do you mean me harm? Do you... No, do you mean me harm? And then I'm going to like, I'm going to like ready my, my lance just for just in case. And my shield is here and I'm just like, but like, I don't. Like I'll, I'm, I'm readying a defense to fend off the blow or. Okay. It walks this creature, this nightmare monster. It walks directly up to you. And it says, I'm just a little, little cat girl in high school. I ain't got no friends. And it, <laughs> and it licks it's you. So on the, oh, God. And it licks you. And Logan's missing. This is so, so funny. And it licks you on your face, dealing... A hundred points three, of <laughs> cringe. Three acid damage from its tongue. No! Oh, oh. uh, okay, so if it's coming in and harming me, can I like Phrasing. bash it in its fucking face with my shield or something? Are you asking me or? Yeah. You have your teammates like, here too. Who are... Can I just like bash this motherfucking creature? Yeah. You could, like, make a shield attack. Like, bludgeoning damage, I suppose. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to get my lance in if he's licking me. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, and I don't want to drop my shield. So, I don't remember what a shield... I don't remember what a shield back. I don't... Do you have the shield master feet? Oh, is that what you have to have in this? Uh, yeah. You could just do a straight ah, shove sucks. action to push it back, but then you only had your bonus action. Yeah, I'm just, I'll just I'll just shove it back because I'm gonna be like, is it fun? All right, so strength be strength. Go ahead and roll it. I'll even if you beat it, I'll even give you like a D six bludgeoning damage <laughs> on this thing. Cause you're like, Pah! I just didn't cough. I rolled a sixteen plus three is nineteen. All right. Wow. It rolled a ten plus zero. So go ahead and roll a D six for bludgeoning damage as you fucking smack this thing with your shield, knocking it back. Five feet. Two. And it says, Mmm, harder, senpai! <laughs> Why? We should have been recording this. What's this? No, it is We really cold. should have been recording this, by the way. Just over its head, like two little asterisks, and in the middle of it, it says, Notices your bulge. Oh. This is so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> My I'm so bulge. glad I didn't do this, because yeah. I would not be able to. <laughs> it knocks you back. I would be like Why? in the corner fucking crying. Your lance is so big. <laughs> and Kiko's just like on the mirror. <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> it's evil! They see what's happening through the, through, the, through the mirror? They can see and hear you. You can only hear them speaking to you. And Geeko's just like, God, what have I done? <laughs> I just want to be like high wisdom and a high deck. Then I'll be I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna flip him off. Okay. All right. the fact that I'm not I don't know what that gesture means, life. but I remember nougat doing it, and it seemed to. So you Are gotta you gonna point to your boobs and your butt. Is that yeah. what you're you have your boobs. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna be like. No, no, wait. That's how you court. I'm looking I don't at my wanna court it. to see what would. Uh... It says, I'm going to clean you up, dirty girl. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. Mm -hmm. How done. many lines do you have prepped and ready to go? I'm just, I'm so curious. Twelve? You oh, gotta yeah, kill I would, fast. I would definitely <laughs> pre-prepped a whole bunch of lines. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, oh. all right. I am going to do... Gosh. 
Okay, what's the layout of the room? Is there somewhere that I could knock it into a corner? A corner? Yeah. Yeah, there's four corners in the room. So I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna bash this fucker into a corner. You wanna bash it again? Yeah, I'm gonna give it some more shoving. Man, another strength versus strength, I suppose. Yeah. Well, we rolled pretty good this time. Sixteen. That beats it. Yeah! Alright, roll a d6. Four. Okay. And it says, ooh, woo, not my face, master! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I'm gonna just start singing the song of soon, and I'm just gonna be like, and I'm just not gonna listen anymore because I've, I don't need this. All right. I've lived 140 years. I don't need this shit. No one needs it. So you get up to it and you shield bash it again, knocking it back another five feet towards this corner. I'm gonna go watch Fox News, honestly. But sadly, <laughs> it is now the creature's turn. Uh, and it does like a, like a spin move. Ah, and then like gets its like, its little cat thing claws out. And it does a scratch attack at you. Uh. Oh man. What is your armor? Oh, can I 20? say that in my last turn I also dropped my lance and I'm picking up my rapier and said, because this is all going to be close, close quarters combat here. It says, you're going to rapier me, ooh woo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yes, okay, so you dropped your lance uh, and you're going to pick up, you got your rapier out now, alright. I don't know if you can see, but I was staring at the camera. <laughs> it, okay. uh, it only rolled a 13 to hit you with its claws. Uh, that so, ain't hit. Yeah, I got 21, baby. But you can see that you've made it bleed a little bit, and it says, Oh no, you made it icky sticky on me! And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> It's doing, it's doing anime, like, poses in between each of its lines. Um, okay! This is a, this is a new hell, thank you. And, and I don't know why we're not recording this, because this is amazing. Oh, we are. This is all recording. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm sorry for taking long rip. Uh, it will... <laughs> Well, yes, definitely mentioning it. And mentioning it also? <laughs> uh, we can't really see you when you're at that angle. Oh, man. It tries to lick you too, Dom, but it's, it ends up just kind of like licking up the middle of your chest. But your armor easily absorbs that acid damage. And then it's, um, and then it's, <laughs> then it's back to you. Your turn. Oh, good. I'm so happy. Okay. Well, it's in the corner now, right? No, no, you still have- you would probably need to get one more good hit on it to get it into a corner. Can you see where it's at? Damn. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I'm strength gonna- Strength strength! Kinda already figured this thing out. It's not very strong. Um... Hmm... Give me one second, let me look something up real quick. I'm just- Go for it. You guys are up above, and you see that it looks like the spork server has to like kind of concentrate while this is going on, so he's like kind of oblivious to what's going on. So right if now. I like stab him in the chest, I think happens. the idea is to look around. Okay. Yeah. But you can stab him again. Yeah. I guess I won't be aggressive at first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I like? You'll notice that of of all of the things in the room that are, that are kind of on display, there's a workbench that is also behind where he stands with that tome that he reads out of, and it looks like there are some very intricate items and like it's a, like delicate, intricate, well organized. Like this, if you're looking to figure something out, this is probably the place to start. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You're pregnant again. Investigate. Yeah, yeah. So you uh, you head up there and you notice. And again, he just he's completely oblivious right now. It, it looks like, um, yeah, there's a lot of. You don't know if it's magical, but like if you were to to, to look at this and see it, it's like a, a Sherlock Holmes 
esque type of, of desk layout, but with like gemstones and like wand and like some calipers and a magnifying glass, but like on like one of those little swivel things so we can get it in nice and close. Uh, if you wanted to like, you could do a like an arcana check okay. to see uh, what might be going on here. Net 20. Oh man. Who gets the shot? There is. Who gets the shot? There is, the shot? there is like a plethora of looks. It looks like different like timekeeping devices. A watch, a sundial, a sand. Hourglass. Hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> a sand boy. <laughs> An hourglass. <clears throat> and they're placed in like a, a top, bottom, bottom with like gems. In the middle, it's like this one. He put this one in, and then like took it out and put it off to the side, and then tried putting another one in. Took the magnifying thing, putting the magnifying glass down. Some, something to do with with uh, with, with time, maybe. Time. Is there like separate piles of these gems? Or is he just looking one by one at each? Yeah, he's just kind of like one by one. And he's not like there. sorting them or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll pocket one of the gems, I guess. Okay. Um. You want the red one? Sure. Can you see this? There's a yellow. There's yellow, blue, green, red. Give me. Oh, is this Skittles? It's my, it's my lightsaber. I want the red one. <gasps> <laughs> Are you kidding? Right? My crystal. My Can crystal. I have the blue one? Huh? Can oh. I have the blue one? Yeah, I would say too many. He'll notice. Okay, so this motherfucker gets a crystal <laughs> that turns into a lightsaber, no. and I get the woo fucking anime <laughs> hentai demon. Well, for my description well. uh, of it is: this creature is straight out of an anime Comic Con Yiffy and furry nightmare. It will woo and bulge its way into everyone's <laughs> darkest moments. That's my description of it. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, so is this going to be one of those situations where it's like, did you ever see that, that Saturday Night Live skit where it was the, the three people that had been abducted by aliens and the guys are, are interviewing them and they yeah. go, oh yeah, tell us about your experience. And the first two people are like, oh, it was so wonderful with the light and all this stuff. And then the third person's like, yeah, they just smack my titties around. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck they're experiencing. This is kind of esque <laughs> like that. We'll is find that out. What I'm getting? Am I getting the titties smacked around right now? What are you gonna what are you gonna do to it? She did already lick between your titties. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Oh, I'm uh well, okay. Uh so I've decided that yeah, I've actually never done this. No, I've only I've done this once before. I'm gonna do ensnaring strike. I can do it as a, a bonus action. Okay. And I can do that because I'm a paladin of the wilds. Yes. And uh, a writhing mass of thorny vines appear when I next strike. The target must make a strength saving throw or is restrained by the vines for the duration. Take a look at it. The target makes takes one d6 piercing damage at the blob de babas. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, could I? So, I mean, like, like I've done sword fighting before, and it's a very common move to advance where you hit and you're pushing while you hit. Is that something that you would allow me to do? Because I'm trying to get this fucker in a corner. Uh, let's just roll to see if you hit first. Okay. Oh yeah! World well, 15! 15 plus, I'm assuming, your bonuses and such? You could yeah, just hold on a second. Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna hit it. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a short sword, I'm sorry, not a rapier. Um, my other character has a rapier. That's a plus 7! So that's 22. Oh, that hits I'm rolling on fire tonight, baby! What about him? And what was the strength save she needed to make to not be ensnared? That go. Uh, oh shit. It's just a strength saving throw. Oh, so it's against mine. Yeah, your spell save DC, I'm guessing. Which was 15 and still is. It's 15. Yep, she doesn't make it, so she's ensnared. 
Yeah! And then I'm rolling throw, really great, and you're rolling throw, like shit. <laughs> another strength versus strength to see if you knock her back, and she gets restrained, like, where she ends up. Ooh, she did pretty good okay. on the strength check this time. Fabulous. That's what I do, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I, and I just go, I just go, and I'm just... Wait, no, you still gotta roll against her strength to oh, see okay. if you if you knock her back. She's gonna be restrained or ensnared regardless, but let's see if, uh, I'm just giving this for, for the fun of it. Fuck! I rolled a nine, and then it's plus three, and so then that's... Oh, man, she's, so she, she gets a burst of strength thinking about her friends and family and how much she cares about them, and manages to sink her claws into the ground. She um, has a backstory? <laughs> She says, "Yeah, the Uwu demon has a backstory. God damn it, Gary. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't make me feel feelings about this fucking menace on whatever plane. Yeah, and when you stab her and lock her down to the ground, she's like, ooh, get that out of me, master. And that's, that, is that your turn? That was your, say, an action. I'm just turn. singing, so I don't even hear it. I'm just like, <laughs> You guys are just upstairs, and all you hear is like just fanatical singing in this monster. No, oh, Lexi, I'm not gonna get you shot. You DM me. God. So, it's her turn again. I don't think this chick is ever actually gonna hit you. This chick hits you. <laughs> so she gets. You bastard! Again, she, she sees herself losing this fight, and she gets a, a burst, like her second form or something. And she does a, a dance pirouette, and her costume changes to something that's like literally Wait, just sparkles. Does, let me see this dance pirouette. She does like a dance pirouette where, it, like, it's. Yeah, literally can you just... demonstrate for us, really quick? <laughs> yeah, Gary, demonstrate it. Demonstrate a pirouette. It's just like sparkles uh, covering up. Um, um, her demonstrate this pirouette. Uh, I can't see it. Dancing. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I really need. I don't understand what okay. a pirouette is. Uh, I don't know I if don't... I have room to pirouette over here. What is print? Okay, that's not oh, 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 But like, it's oh, just like, it's like oh. a couple of glitter things over her nipples and her naughty bits. Uh, that's awesome. Those are called paste. And then, and then she claws you for, <laughs> hold on, I gotta find out how much it is. Okay. Show us a pirouette. I mean, I can when I get up from a shot. Okay. Four, <laughs> four like a lot of plus nine, <laughs> nine slashing damage with her claws as they finally seem to find some purchase in the, the kinks in your armor. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> all those kinks. Don't you be says, saying nothing oh, about kinks, man. Senpai. Yeah, she says. All right, wait. How much gentle. was it? Four plus seven. She says, "Be gentle. It's my first time." Oh no, we have to pause because my computer isn't plugged in right now. All right, so this it was it was eleven total, right? No, Sorry. nine, nine total. Oh, oh, nine total. Okay. Yep. Uh, it, it also tries to lick you, but God, it just it just can't get through your shiny new armor. Sweet. So this time it's just like it's it's a good midriff lick after it cat scratches you. And you know who you can thank? You know who you can thank for that? It's Danik and Volker's Guild Goop. <laughs> you should bring them next time. They sound fun. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go back to singing again. And then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh... This is definitely the most creative enemy that Dawn has probably ever uh, seen before. You said okay, so ensnaring, um, ensnaring now that restrains the character, right? Yeah. So you and then on its on its turn, oh man, I'm going to pull my group. You have a you have advantage on attack. While well, well restrained, the target takes one d6 piercing damage oh. at the start of its turn. Restrained creature can spend an action to attempt a strength check to break free. The vines deal an additional one d6 per round for each spell slot above first. I just use a regular. It's fine. Okay. All right, she take. I took. A, I rolled a five for her piercing damage, so she took her piercing damage, and you notice the thorns are just tearing her clothes off. And she's not even fighting. Yeah. She's like acting like she is, but this oh. is really backfiring. No, stop. <laughs> oh, senpai! Your oh. vine is so thick. Ooh. Don't touch me there. Your turn. <laughs> I, I regret everything. How many people have he sent? For All right. Well, now that I have you pinned. 
And you can't possibly say anything dirty about that. But, but, uh, uh, now I shall cast Moonbeam Chaw. And so I have a five foot radius, 40 foot tall cylinder of silvery light that fills an area within range, which is right in front of me in this ensnared spot that this thing is in. Okay. And, and any creature that enters or starts its turn in that doodly takes a 2d10 radiant damage halved with a constitution saving throw. Okay, 2d10. All right, I'll remember it. Yep. And the 1d6 for the ensnaring shot strike. All right, that was your action? That was my action, and then also I'm just being like, being like, uh, and also fuck. Also what? Also fuck you, I don't know. I just want to have a retort. I just wanted to say something. But also fuck you? Okay, it'll say, are you going to? That was too easy. <laughs> I'm too easy, master. <laughs> that was too easy to die. Don't leave me again. It's so lonely down here. Without my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, she'll do her strength. I've used that line before. Nope, she doesn't make her strength. I already, she did, she took three piercing and a 2d10 oh, for the moonbeam. Constitution save? What did she need to make for her constitution save? You said 15? 10. She need to make 10? Yeah. Oh, she makes it, so make half it. damage? 2d6. Oh. Two half. Six. Half of 2d6. Half of 2d6? 1d6. Uh, wait. I'm sorry. Uh, so, so that was for the, that was for the Plus ramp. 2d6. But like, like, half damage, 2d6. She, uh, half damage? <laughs> I already gave her the piercing damage because she failed to break free. But she also takes the, the moonbeam at the beginning of the turn and she failed the constitution. Or she made the constitution, so what is the half damage for moonbeam? Oh, it's it's half. I'm sorry. This would be 1d10. Okay, I thought it was a 2. You're wrong. <laughs> and it's raining in there. Six. Radiant damage. And she says, Oh, keep going, Senpai, I'm almost there. You will be there very shortly, and it will be the afterlife, and it you'll you'll be dead. It just like turns around and looks coyly at you over its shoulder. How? How is it doing that when I'm facing it? <laughs> All is right. it contorting around in 180 degrees? It's going to attempt... It wants to hug you. Oh, wow. They ain't going into no grapples with me. It's oh, a, oh, roll oh, a, oh. A, that's, a, that's gonna be a grapple. That's a one grapple. A grapple. <laughs> Go ahead and roll strength. Alright. 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 Fuck! Why? Sounds Wait! Like I'm, getting... I'm inspired! I'm inspired! I'm inspired! I, I only got an 11. Paco! Stop. Can I use my inspiration if I don't make it? Because I don't want to be hugged by this thing. You can use whatever you want with your inspiration. Well, then I'm going to re-roll this move. All right. Yeah! And so I got 18. Oh, well, now, I'm, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious what would have happened. So it goes to like jump on you and wrap like all of its limbs around you and like grab you with its claws, but it can't seem to find anywhere to like sink on it. Taco. Stop. My armor is too slippery. Here, you know what? As you if know you. Know. Oh, ew. You want to know what you're fighting, what it looks like? Is it like Taco Kitty Meow? Yeah, just like Taco. Just pink. Oh, that's much cuter. I would never be able to hit Taco. Yeah, so it tries to like jump on you, like all <laughs> legs and arms splayed out, but it can't seem to like sink anything into you. And it just like slides down to your feet and kind of like mopes for a second, and then it tries to lick you. But it doesn't. Ew. Well, it does. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna step backward just to, just. Attack of opportunity! Like, just new. No. Just new. No. <laughs> it tries to lick you as well, but it only gets like your thigh. What? That's just impressive. Like, no, I guess I'm only three feet tall. Never mind. 
and it doesn't do any damage. Um, all right, that's you. Yes. Tease. And so it's prone. Oh, I'm sorry, it's prone right now, right? Sorry. Uh, we could say that, yeah. You have Okay. A... Oh, there's no more coup de gras. Damn. Oh, I shouldn't have been able to try and... I guess the way I narrated it wouldn't have been able to do it because it's restrained, so I wouldn't have been able to jump at her, but... Still right. You could have tried to grapple her, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. Same way. So you have advantage <coughs> either way because it is restrained, but... Yeah, so just roll at advantage for whatever your attack is. If that's what you're gonna do, an attack. Well, I'm... I'm gonna. I mean, okay, so I already know that a 22 is gonna hit it. Mm hmm And I, so I don't really need to roll my advantage, although I'm gonna roll it anyway, because maybe it's a 20. It's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, one way to find roller it. Roller coaster of emotions. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's all, that's all I had to input. Okay, so did, so 22, yeah? Yeah, that is. 20, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give some ouchies. It likes ouchies, though. Uh, I know, but I gotta give the ouchies to make it stop liking anything. Ooh, you made me all sticky. Ooh, wow. <laughs> you really do the voice well. <laughs> Alright, oh shit, I'm on a short sword. That's D6. God damn, D6 plus 4, that sucks. Good. Uh, I did nine damage. You did nine damage? Cool. Yeah. So close. Oh, but almost there. Almost there. Oh yeah, it looks like it's it looks like its health bar is actually just how much clothes it has left on it, and it's just like his ribbons now. I didn't need to see any of mm. Oh, it, it's got little <laughs> tines on it, like on their tongue. No, oh. <laughs> Okay, but you know what? The vines are gonna get it. It's gonna have to make a strength check. I think it makes it, but it still had them on it in its turn, right? So. It has so what on? It's underwear? Four piercing. And it fails the moonbeam, so 2d10. Ew. So four plus nine plus ten. Wow. Yeah, so. As it's sitting there all wrapped up in your vines and stuff, it just kind of starts to, like, undulate for a second. And it's like... And then it explodes. <laughs> Jesus. And it, like, kind of pastes the wall with, like, pink goo uh, oh. for a second. A small amount of it's going to, like, land on your lip. Uh, and then... Oh. A shiny... Oh, it tastes like Pepto-Bismol and <laughs> semen. Oh. <laughs> And then there's a shiny, <laughs> a shiny, what looks like a sphere that just kind of like lands on the ground where it died. What are you? The sphere doesn't answer you. It looks like a crystalline object of some sort. Okay, oh, so it doesn't look like a thing that's gonna, it's like, talk? Alright, so... It sprouts tentacles uh, and... No, no. Part two! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think you pick it up, Don. Or you could snip it. Oh. oh, okay, sorry. I thought you were saying, oh, you're gonna do that next time, and like it was cutting away from me. No, 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 it's still, it's just sitting there, and you're looking at it. Yeah, which is watching you. Well, then I'm gonna take back my Wayne's World transition, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't okay, forget your uh, lance. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk up to it and do an Arcana check. Um, yeah, it seems, it seems magical of some sort. It's like a tiny little crystal brain, is what it looks like. Gross. Well, this is odd. Eat it. How, about how big is it? Um, you, like, for your halfling fingers, about that size. For a normal person, it's like really small. Blue, opaque, crystalline, magical, for sure, type of object. Ew. Well, did uh, can I sniff? Yeah. Does it smell? smell? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna like touch it, like, like real careful, just to see if it's like, oh, hot. Nope. Okay, I'm just a little cool. I'm just gonna fucking grab it. You grab it, and with that, 
you are teleported upstairs. <laughs> Never to see your lance again. No, I'm just kidding. You have your lance. No, no, <laughs> no you, you have your lance. Okay. We don't need to get that. I definitely answer. would never have leave, left a comrade behind. Yeah. Uh, and with that, um, the sorcerer kind of snaps out of his trance. Uh, and he says, give it to me now, please. I need it. What is it? That was wholly unpleasant. And way too holy. Yes, that is one of the most vile creatures imaginable. It is a cringe demon. Please tell me that I slew it and that it will never ever come back and will never hear of it ever. That depends on audience participation. <laughs> Sometimes they boycott the death of one of those creatures and you have to bring them back. Damn the public! <laughs> You know what? You should vote with your by hitting that bell and hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> oh no! It's <laughs> contagious. No, I'm holding again. All right, okay. you can move her back over. All right, so I'm good, and so I I'm gonna like fucking hand the brain over because I'm just like yeah. I didn't I didn't appreciate any of that to be honest. I'm a paladin. That's, that was just weird. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. I don't understand. What would you like me to divine for you? Ask your question. Oh, this is heavy. Anything? Hold on, can you come back to- Oh, can I go? Yeah, go go on to Giko this time so that I can think of what I should- question for the group. We must all decide. So I really think that we should probably powwow. That's you too, Lexi. Well, we get... Or Nora, should I start calling Nora? No, I'm actually doing something for us, but that's fine. We're doing something for us right no, now. We're trying to win a contest. We're playing D&D &D together. We're trying to win a contest. <laughs> you know the only contest we need to win? Hard. Yeah. And you win that by playing D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more portals, right? Yes. And so we'll get more. There are more. There's more. There are more trials ahead. What are the trials are ahead? The, the next, next one requires someone selfless and intelligent. <laughs> you know what's funny? The first time when you came in there and he was like, he would like describe the first trial, and you're like, yeah, that's. <laughs> like I did like a transition where it like faded into the guy who's like, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> and I probably giggled about it for like 10 minutes. I can't wait to get that episode up. Um, uh, what is, what is, so you need to be what and what again? Selfless and intelligent. Selfless, brave, and intelligent. Okay, um, hey Geeko. Where will we ever find <laughs> someone like that? Geeko, what's your, um, what's your, uh, no, self, selfless with the L E S S, <laughs> not the I S H. Oh, sorry, keep uh, still in comments. That was really good. Uh, Fifteen. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This isn't necessarily a statistics thing. I mean, I feel like I'm a lot more. I love you, Kiko. One must like be able to interpret thing. the signs presented. This is not a combat. I think this it's one a language thing. Is more vague. Well, and hopefully <laughs> there aren't any strange memes in there to chase you about. <laughs> it's, it's... Hey, offhand, who could you say would do better? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could just say, yeah, that guy Are right me? there. Yeah, him. Get him in there. Are you asking me? He doesn't like me, so I feel it's biased. Let's let's uh let's go with Eco first. Okay. Yeah. And tell selfless Eco. Which and you wouldn't choose the one that knows all the languages. I think she'll do better on the last Oh, okay. Well if God thinks so. <laughs> He's Christopher Orkin, alright? He's not God. Oh there's the okay. Okay. 
Well, that was clearly Gary voice. That was Someone on. with an analytical mind and willing to sacrifice. I mean, I'm willing to sacrifice, but I do not have an analytical mind. <laughs> I don't even get jokes. <laughs> I think that's yours. Think you you could that. always come back later. I'm not going to do another one. Okay, so the vision. I mean, I can, but it's just like, goddamn, you know? Is it? You guys I need am to... a very busy man. Are we doing this or not? Yeah, yeah. We, we got to talk about it though. The vision. Yeah. Okay, can I push yeah. Geeko in? Yes. Is it open? My <laughs> 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 I am Geeko. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about this one? <laughs> you fall in. And oh, just like no. a, the reverse of like an alien spaceship beam or whatever, you kind of lower oh, down geez, to the ground. I hate it. Exact same basement, and you guys again see in the mirrors. Though, in this one, when you get down to the ground, <clears throat> I'm not even jealous that you got my favorite movie. <laughs> there are three. Because I don't. I would not want to be on there. <laughs> no. There are three doorways of varying levels of ominous design. One door, gilded silver and gold trim bisected in the middle and mostly comprised of shining transparent crystal that shows a room beyond equally as brilliant and filled with mounds of treasure Talk me again. i heard too much about mounds before kiko's dead in this one the door to the left oh, what sorry. kiko's oh. dead he's 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 tempting me with good stuff the inscription above oh, the door no. says Everything he ever wanted. The door to the left is a mass of inky tendrils, chitinous claws, and gnashing teeth that obscure vision of all things beyond it. It whispers to the player, Everything he ever needed. And on the far right of the room is a stone door. Simple. Just a doorway. And beyond, Kiko sees the familiar face of Mundregar reaching out towards him and he's holding something in his hand. Is there everything you ever wanted is what is on the door about that. About this Every on the description about that door. Everything he ever needed, everything he ever wanted, everything I ever wanted. Everything wanted. you ever wanted. And those are the three doors I got. Those are the three doors. I, I hate to interrupt, but I think I just realized why I keep missing like every third word that you say. It's it, I think it's the medieval city soundtrack in the oh. background. Yeah. I keep yeah. hearing the weirdest sound coming in and out, and then uh -huh. cutting. Away. There, how's that? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Later. thank you. We're in a basement right now, so this should really just be kind of weird. Uh, I was wondering that while I was still yeah. playing, while we were, yeah. you guys were it should like just be weird, touchy feely uncle music. I like it. Oh. Uh. Oh, the language is all just oh. in common. Yeah. When you when you edit the episode and the cat girl boy is there, uh, you should have it be like the the meow 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 <laughs> like this. I have the perfect cup sitting there. It says, "Need wine, right?" Meow. <laughs> oh God. She's being so cute. All right, I'm sorry. I will stop mm -hmm. interrupting now. So again, you guys can see and hear what's going on down there. You see the doorways. You see him pondering. I see he seems to get a much easier one than me. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, can I yeah, really? <laughs> activate my band of far seeing and see if I could look through the doors a little? There's only really one that you can't uh, see through, the inky mass of tentacles and, and oh, such. It's just dark. Yeah, so it's like, it's like, think of like a swirling torrent. Like, there's so much, like, claws, teeth, tendrils, blackness, uh, and it just obscures vision. Whereas the other one is kind of crystalline, and you can see through it. And the one on the far right, there's a doorway, an archway, but no actual door. It's just, you see Mundregar there, and he seems to have something clutched in his hand, and he's reaching out towards you. So the doors, they have knobs? I just have to open them? Uh, it would seem that you would just have to step through, yeah. Uh, to make a choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a metaphor. Yeah. So, does it matter what I choose as Giko? Giko will 
He's not going to tell you, dude. You got to make the well, decision. You guys right can talk to me up there above who pushed me into this portal without. Oh. Yeah, yeah. you guys can all hear and communicate back and forth. It's like. Pick the red one! Okay, what, what was the difference between the doors again? So the one uh, straight in front of him is gilded around the edges, silver and gold. With a, It's bisected in the middle. And it seems to be like a shining and also opalescent and clear crystalline door. And beyond, you can see like mounds of, of treasure and valuable objects. And above it, it says everything he ever wanted. The door on the left is a mass of like, it's just like a, an opening of like claws and tentacles and gnashing teeth and sucking noises and inky blots and stuff that you can't really see through. And that one actually whispers to you, to him, when he looks at it. And it says, everything he ever needed. Followed by the doorway on the far right. Wow. right just an archway. And beyond, he sees uh, an individual holding something outstretched towards him in an empty room. And it, that doesn't say nothing over it? Uh, it says, everything you... <laughs> ev everything... Oh you ever wanted? Everything you ever wanted. All I ever wanted, mm -hmm. all I ever need, is there and in that room. Sorry. Look, Geeko! Yes. Don't be Geeko, okay? Ge Think with your mind in that you know that none of those riches are going to be things that you carry with you out of there. So, like, you know what I mean? And even if you could, like, it would weigh. Just tons and tons. And I'm not going to help you carry it. It's death. So you're saying go in the tentacles. Well, I mean, if you really want a <laughs> so, good time, I suppose. Uh, it seems uh, like the other one might be like, you know, he's like, he's like going to fight you. Or, or maybe it's your father. Do you have like father issues? No, that's, my child. That's my best friend. Oh, I mean, wouldn't you want to go and see your best friend again? Yeah, that's he's, where I'm going. He's almost leaning towards you now, desperately. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's that's one of those things, like, you know, you don't go into the light, you know? He, like, you he, don't want to go to the thing. He taught me you, how to, you need to go to the that. thing that you need. He taught me how to be a wizard, though. Yeah, but you could go into the one with the thing, tentacles you know. and just endure it. I mean, it's not that hot. But don't ask. You know, <laughs> well, I won't tell. I'm saying you'll you'll survive it. You know, it's perhaps a fraction of the man you once were, but you will get out and you will f move on. I tear I tear up a little bit. <laughs> uh, Kika will not go in the tentacle door. I'm sorry to disappoint. You are chicken shit. <laughs> I'm going to. Some of it's door. pretty good. Yes. I got to tell you. I will open. You walk in. Yes. They have suction cups. A uh, hand <laughs> outstretched, reaching for him. And uh, the last thing he says is, so yes. and <clears throat> what? You reappear back upstairs uh, at the portal. And in your hand, you have a golden key. A key? A key. Written on it, it says... Oh, man, what was the name? Gold, the Gold Dragon's Horde. The Gold Dragon's Horde. So I'm back up? I'm out? You're out. Oh. The Gold Dragon's Horde? Horde. Horde. The Gold Dragon was whoring. Okay. <laughs> Horde, like a horde of treasure. <laughs> yeah, it, it horde, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and the sporks are he snaps out of it for a second and he says, Well mm -hmm. What happened? There were three doors and I had to pick one. You know, I'm really glad that you didn't go into the tentacles one now that I think about it. <laughs> oh yes, thank you, Dad. <laughs> I mean it was hard to tell, but you know, usually beckoning things in ominous circumstances are not. I feel like if there was a door with a friend in it and a door with evil beasts, I hope you would choose the friend. You know. Well, 
if the friend was in need, but if it felt ominous, then no, I would immediately just walk into the tentacles again because, you know, while it keeps me up at night, I mean... <laughs> okay, I'm done being stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. So, Karamax yeah. Sale says, I don't feel any different. What happened? There are three doors. I had to choose one. There was one with a lot of gold in it. There was one with evil darkness stuff in it. And there was mm. one with my friend in it. And I went to my friend. Mm. So. I, I mean, I, it seemed correct because he came out. Yeah. I guess we will have to wait and see. Is it my turn? My oh, you are so totally supposed to go into the tentacles. <laughs> You see, Next it's, time you it, can take the it's honestly, <laughs> now that I'm thinking back on it, it's not that bad, honestly. Right. What were the hints that you guys were supposed to, what did he say it was looking for for someone to do? Or the traits that they needed for this tra this test? Selfless. Brave. And brave. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, yeah. So like going into the tentacles. That right? sort of sounds familiar. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. And that's why it's going to be out! Regardless of what door you guys went in, like something was gonna happen. I won't tell you if you did the right thing, but like something, there was going to be a result regardless. Okay. I like it. Is it my turn now? It is your turn. Yay! All right. You're going to have to be selfless and sacrificing. No, not for mine. We don't know what mine is yet. You ultimately well, no, I just did. will need to make the decision, but this is a test of one's intelligence and memory. Your team can help you, but you oh. will provide the answer. Are you sure that this is the right one for me? I push her. Okay, Geeko, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a high five. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've learned that gesture, I'm gonna pat your hand and be like, yes. Yeah. I need this and I need this. Okay. All right. I know one to stand the joy. You flubber down in or whatever, float down to the ground. Uh, and you're in. Goodbye. You're not in his basement. I'm gonna like look around. Oh. It is an old library, a very large and expansive library. Can I be in all the books? People are kind of walking about. One person goes by and walks right through you, and most of them seem very insubstantial looking, except for one young man who is sitting over at a desk writing things uh, with a candle illuminating him. What does he look like? He is a young man. Human? Human man. Okay. You would guess between the ages of 20 uh, oh, and man. 30. He wears the garb of a spellcaster. He has a... Hold on, hold on. You're talking too fast. Writing, you said between the ages of 20 and 30. Mm-hmm. Robes of a spellcaster. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to see if you need to remember all this? I'm just going to write it all down just in case. Okay. You said something about intelligence, and I'm not the smartest mm -hmm. apple in this bunch, so that's... It says... Because I can tell you, you're not going to need to... This, this isn't the test. It's not going to be like... I just want to know okay. just okay. in case. That was pretty okay. bullshit if you just gave a pop quiz at the end. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and then I don't have anything written down. What was that? So it would also be really funny, though. What color was his hair? <laughs> 20, 30, the garb of a... Uh, spellcaster. Uh, red, red robes of a spellcaster. Um, he has long, dark hair pulled into a ponytail on the back of his head. And that's all you can really see from him. Interesting. Go closer. Go see what he's... Writing. I will walk towards this figure and kind of like behind him to kind of look over his shoulder. Okay. Yeah. So he's. Oh, she's snooping. Teacher. <laughs> You'll see that uh, the uh, paper that he's writing on has a <clears throat> has a like a little letterhead on it. it says <clears throat> uh, uh, the wizards of the red wizards of Thay. Are these both? T H A Y. Would that trigger any of our memories? Uh, you guys, maybe. It is a place that exists. Yeah. Can I roll a yeah. insight? Oh, that sounds really super familiar. Or Arcana. Uh, 
Hmm? Would it, it be it? history or common? Um, Insight or go history. 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 Ooh, nat twenty. It is not. <laughs> it's a solid nine. A nine? Yeah. Yeah, Fey Fey is a realm that. Uh, what'd you get? Six. Fey is a realm <laughs> that is realm. nearby. Oh anyway. wait, can I roll? Yes. yes. Jerry. So that sounds super crazy familiar to me, just as me the person. Oh god, eight. <laughs> Damn, I rolled the highest. <laughs> so Fey is a world, or is a is a realm within the world to the far far east that has what you would call some of the more aggressive types of wizards in the world. City. Things that are banned in most places, these guys will will use, study, weaponize, demonology, blood magic, sacrifice, necromancy. The red wizards of Thay are kind of like, bad dudes. Kind of so like, the exact opposite of people who I would hang out with oh, as yeah. a cleric. Oh yeah, very much. They they almost actively hunt down other spellcasters like wild mages and stuff to dissect and yeah, actually, I was, and I remember now where I had heard that, and it was while I was writing my character's backstory a while back, um, because they, well, never mind, paladin orders and stuff basically are always against them. Yeah, they're like, uh, I don't want to say they're like the Nazis of the world, but, um, They're like the Nazis of the world. They're bad boys. They're, uh, yeah, the Thavian wizards, the, Is the red it wizards are, uh, Has not What's that? Is it farther than yeah, Chromir? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. The man realizes that there's someone behind it, and he turns around and he's like, Can I help you? You can see? Yes. Can no one else? Well, I just got walked through. Who are you? <laughs> Where are you? Who are you? My name is Caramexiel. I am a student here at the College of Thay. Cara. Caramexiel. Caramexiel. He's Christopher Morgan. I got that voice. Is that young Christopher Orkin? He's not yeah. an orc, so it's weird. He's a human. <laughs> so he got transformed or something. Interesting. Caramexiel. Yes. What are you doing? I'm not exactly sure. What is he studying? What are you writing? I'm not sure. It came to me in my head. It seems to be a list of questions and answers that I have no recollection of. Maybe I can help? Maybe. Let's try. <clears throat> Just for funsies. Question one. Who was Shah's sister? Oh. oh. It's totally a fucking pop quiz, dude. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I don't have the same book I read everything in. Shaw's and you can all you all hear this, you all see what's going on. Who is Shah's sister? Shah's sister Shah's the night mistress. Or is Shaw's sister the night mistress? I know! <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> um, I never knew the night mistress was named. The night mistress is the night mistress, but one is Shaw and one is the sister. Yeah. <laughs> one of them didn't want magic in the world. And one of them did. wanted magic in the world. The night, night mistress didn't want magic in the world and the other one did. But the night mistress Shar. Oh yeah. Mistress is Shar. Shar. You could you could do some rolls for it, I suppose. Little angel dude. This is ouchy painfuls. Could you make this like a multiple choice? <laughs> I feel like if you would say the name, we would know it sounds. D all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd probably do better than me. Oh it no. Thirteen. Plus whatever. I don't know what we. You might remember that it also starts with an S. That. Starts with an S. Oh. Because I didn't know. 
<laughs> I can't remember the names of people that I worked with for uh, years and years of my life. Like, I can't remember shit. Yeah, and then... So, 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 Am I... The, can I roll on... Well, I... Can I look at my own deity's history real quick? Or do I have to roll on it? Because it is my deity, but I'm pretty sure my deity has correlation between the two. I mean, all the deities kind of know each other, but mm-hmm. Corallon and this other individual, she she's not among the elven pantheon, so they might have like met in a hallway in passing, I guess, in like the god world, but uh, I don't think that would help you know. You hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Lynn, do you want to roll? <clears throat> Hopefully, you get a nat twenty. Um, <clears throat> for religion? Um, yeah, religion would yeah. be a good roll. Oh, what? Is... Oh, snapple. I get. You think I would have specialized in that? But I didn't. I'm not a big reader, me. Religion? Ew, I'm a paladin, not a nerd. I mean, so, I only got 10 with my uh, religion. I rolled a 1. Oh, it but is... But you get to re-roll it. It's salad. But I'm a halfling, so... You so can oh, you could re-roll it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah. Does, does, is the shot still involved? Re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Just re-roll. Oh, fine. We're not really enforcing that right now. <laughs> well, fine. All right. 15 plus ooh, 3. 18. 18? Yes. 18. For a religion? Yeah. Oh, man. Cell. 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 Oh, it's Cell. on the tip of your Cell tongue. Cell Selma Hayek. Cell. <laughs> Is that Saloon? Saloon! 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 Is it Saloon? No? Saloon? 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 You need to be the one to answer. Saloon. 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 Vidal Saloon. Say something else, but it's Saloon. I told you I wasn't the right person for this! Guys, this is the first question. I know! Anymore! Salmon Rushdie! and... Saloon, I thought. Yeah, right? Share. Saloon. Goddess of the good stuff. The angel of. Saloon? That's what I think it is. I'm gonna trust you if I'm wrong. Well, you could say whatever you want. He needs an answer. Saloon? Bing, bing, bing. Okay. Hey. And only, oh. only you guys can see how, like, it's Selune, but, uh, so, okay. like Selune, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, you guys hear it go bing, bing, bing around you, but it doesn't seem that Caramaxiel notices that. Uh, he just hear you go, you just say Selune, and he's like, hmm, maybe. Okay. What about this one? What form of creature was the janitor? What's a janitor? It was, uh, uh, it was the jelly. No, the janitor wasn't the jelly. Yeah, what? Was it the jelly? Yeah, yeah it was yeah, the big old jelly blob. Bing, bing, bing. Because yeah, we yeah. thought it was the one that was in the toilet. It's not the. I don't even know. <laughs> no, what that it was. just was a big old thing. You know. Uh, I was like, I saw. The honestly, a helpful it. creature. It never even attacked. Yeah, we just killed it. It was just a poop eater. <laughs> but honestly, it just ate the dookie. <laughs> it's just in there drinking dookie water. Okay. Alright. Question three. What faction did your white claws originally work for? They worked for the... Uh... There was the black cat. <laughs> no, black <laughs> cat was part right? of it. Yeah. But they worked for... Oh yeah, that's the one that was hitting on black me. Talons. Black talons. Black talons, there you go. <laughs> Those are things that... I, I, knew that I knew that one! <laughs> yeah. A man of noble blood once trusted you in a place of great danger. This resulted in his death. Yes. What was his family name? That's not fair. He was an asshole. 
He was an not asshole. an asshole. Yes, he was. He was the one you wanted killed. Damien? No. Oh. He was the guy who was getting his blood sucked, and then I gave him a health oh, potion. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then right. he was just a big old dude. Yeah, I and killed we him, said, didn't I? Yeah, because I sent them in first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so now <laughs> it comes back to bite You're like his having ass. this conversation to yourself, and he's like. I was super drunk that night. I know, I remember that, that night for how drunk I was, so I'm not gonna remember. So, you guys used him to essentially clear a trap. <laughs> yeah. Because I set him in first, because he was being a dick. He was an asshole. He was? He was a dick. A dick. But he was a man of noble birth. And what was his family name? He had... I will give you guys this hint. I don't know if anybody noted it in their inventory or not. I think Yino might have picked it up, but he had a signet ring on him. It was so long ago, I would have to go back in the notes and figure out what I wrote down. But I never picked it up. You didn't pick it I up? I didn't pick it up. Okay. Well, that's not going to help you then. Um, anybody want to roll? <laughs> a, uh, I, yeah, I don't roll for memory. History? <laughs> it's in I guess that's history. another way of saying memory, fine. Uh, was it like an animal? No, I don't think so. His family name? It was an animal on the ring, but that yeah. wasn't his family name. Oh. Mm. I was hung over all the next day after that Can we particular. Can we back to it? <laughs> Who is we? You and me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Ask for extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a save. No, <laughs> Take I, it. I don't. Okay. Because you asked so nice. So. I mean, you wrote the questions already. The crown of a traitor laid upon his head by his god and his friends, it was said. A life lived long, but full of regret. He sacrificed all he had, and it was on you, he bet. It's Damon. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> How? Oh, you guys are gonna fucking hate me. How? What in the fuck is an old Mopazville? How many gravestones are in the town of old Mopazville? Like five? No, of old Moparsville. Yeah, it's we'll the, say it when be, you guys left. It'd be the innkeeper, the previous innkeeper. I think there was five beforehand. And then there would. I think there might have been five. And then when it, I think he's just saying how many people died. How during many people day. died, or how many people are buried there? For and so it would be the, the kid we came in. The kid, yeah, that the, the one that killed. was, yeah, that the nose killed. Right. The innkeeper is one of them. D money. Did they bury D money? They did bury D money because mm -hmm. then, oh, yeah. because then he laid down in his grave and got the mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Fig? Did they bury Fig? I think they buried Fig. Okay. Were we in a different they town? Made a, they made a freaking tavern after Fig. Yeah, they, they made the tavern after Fig, so there'd be, because yeah. Fig's oh, yeah. body wasn't disposed of. So I would assume that they... Um, I wasn't I there for the slang. Headstones, essentially. Yeah. How many headstones are there? But then there are already headstones there before yeah, I don't got there. Think he expects this. Uh, he just wants to know who died there. Even if they weren't buried there, I'll say that for everyone that died, um, <clears throat> there was a headstone there for them. Damien. I... Died during that time. So he did. I'm talking right. about, like, when you guys left to go into home, how many yeah. how many were there is what he's representing. Oh. <laughs> I pay attention to the living, not the dead. So I would say it'd be four. Because yeah. Podor didn't die. Um, but we don't know about... How about the dog? You think but he will. Possum. Missing yeah, Possum. Possum. Yeah, yeah, we got his Possum. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay. So, okay. Which well, I think that's unfair. I think that they should bury the dogs. Do you think that they might have buried what's her face's brother? No, he just left. Did he leave? Okay, yeah. so he just we're just, we just yeah. don't. Know Are we even keeping count? We're trying to. Yeah. Currently. Okay, I have not been. Um. Yeah, let's say four. Four. No. You guys remember all the ones, but. Whose parents were buried there before you guys even got there? See, it was before we got there. Oh, um, um, what's her, the keeper, the girl, the 
the Veronica and yes. Dan Reynolds mother and father. Yeah. Oh so uh, yeah. So it would have been six. Yeah. It goes. I was one off. Because you guessed randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, well, we were counting based off of people that we figured died while we were there, not before we got there. That's why I said how many great... I was remembering back to the miniatures of the little the little miniatures inside of the graveyard, and I thought you wanted me to remember exactly with a photo memory how many little gravestones you had in... Yeah, pretty much. And I remembered about five. Question seven. Mm -hmm. After subduing the wyvern... What came out of the wand to signal Hadrich that the task was complete? It was a sprout. Right? A little flag that said big. Acorn. Acorn? The acorn made the big tree, and that was during Don's fortress. Not the old wild. Yeah, I remember the yeah. acorn, but that wasn't the. I know the answer's in here somewhere. <laughs> we chained up. The wyvern. We used the immovable rod. Uh, yeah. The uh, turtle grappled him. Uh, I believe Podea shot some vines on him. Some grappling vines. You guys did a lot of stuff. That is fantastic. I don't know who had the wand. Jonas had the wand. Jonas Jonas had it the was the first and last time we ever worked together as a team. <laughs> He Done. spoke the incantation. Spoke the incantation through my name might be fluffy. My appearance is not fluffy. No, that's, a, that's, that's the acorn. Fluffy. That's the acorn. That's okay, but she still has these notes. Well, you have a binder. Why don't you just bind them? They came out. <laughs> Tamara, Cher, Hadridge, Faerun, Moon, Winged Creature, Grim, Missing Person, Cave Boulder, Not a Dragon, Big Feathers. Share sister. Found. Found her sister's name. <laughs> <laughs> Salone. <coughs> In the wood is the west past the or crop. Or no, I don't. Oh, it says Knolls. Jonas held up a wand, said some words, something came out. Was it just a flare? It might have been a flare a of light. I don't know. We need Jonas here for that. This is not fair when everyone's not here. Listen, I agree. <laughs> do you have other questions, maybe? Yeah. Like and also, so how do you have all of these specific questions that, specifically pertaining here. to our quest? It's oh. weird. It's like you've been spying on us the whole time. <laughs> Caramax Hill can't hear you. <laughs> well, ask him all those things I just said, Al. <laughs> I think that's him in the past. And so oh, he will be spying what? on us. That's him. That's who cool in the past? How that's much would the orc. Cost for a bottle the of, um, Christopher Orkin. Orkin. We're, oh, that's... We're on the task at hand Sorry. right now. Oh, you age terribly. And I'm going to turn to him and I'll be like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You should start <laughs> using lotion. <laughs> Well, what's really hard about this is the fact that Giko wouldn't know. Giko would have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't think Lynn would know. Well, Joey would know. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like... Giko wouldn't say anything. Yeah, Giko wouldn't be able to <laughs> help with this. Cause, you like, know Damon, yeah. You want some options? Yes, please. All right, I'll give you guys options. Yeah. Was it A, a flare, B, a dragon? C, a butterfly. A dragon what? A dragonfly. Oh, okay. C, a butterfly. Or D, a flying squirrel. It'd be a flare. I flare. think it's that last one. I think it's a flying squirrel too, yeah. Oh, it's a it's, I mean, it, it sounds flare. fun. It's, Are you it kidding was, me? Was, I don't think butterfly. I was there for that. Is it a butterfly? Yeah, none of that sounds it's familiar. A, I'm sorry. A butterfly just like popped yeah. out of the I don't remember that at and all. I just landed on the nose of the wyvern. I do. Ha I have absolutely no recollection. Well, of I'm glad I do all this. 
I literally, like, that's not even, like, I remember that fight, but I do not remember that at all. You have, you have a memorable campaign. The hard, the really, really hard part about writing trivia, and I say this to somebody that did for a really long time, is that, is that you have to get into the heads of the people that you're asking. So it's like, what are the takeaway moments for them and not the takeaway moments for you? Because since you're the author of it, you've memorized these specific things, but that might not be the thing that we memorize. Yeah, if I, that makes sense, like, know, like it's it's hard to write those sorts of questions. Why did to, you say that? I was gonna say that he just a player. <laughs> you said flying squirrel. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, I know, <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joey. Man, if he would have been like, who well, uh, freaking put the wyvern in a chain and bolted it down to the ground? I would have been like. Oh hey, that was Don because you put the immovable chain down in the ground, wrapped it around, yeah. and then G G money. No, no, not D money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, I think Winston the interactions of grappled it with its yeah. arm into a chirp hold. Like I remember all of that. Oh yeah, like it was we can remember the things that we do into... specifically, but the things that the NPCs do, I think we have a much harder time with. Yeah, and then Beck was turned into the. Yeah, well, okay, See, we don't I, have to do a full recap. See, because I remember no <laughs> sleep. I didn't remember no fucking butterfly. All right, one more to piss you guys off. Yeah. Who, who commanded the stronghold? The oh, fuck is The dude with the... the what? No. Well, like, no. like when it we first rolled Damon up into each other. was like the <laughs> alchemist dude, and then we found a body outside the cave that was decomposed, and he yeah. was the general. And he was supposed to have left, but he did not. You're close. Or there the... was some intrigue. Damon thought this yeah. is, that this individual had abandoned his post, or he said that this individual had abandoned his post, and you guys found that out later to be a lie because he had, in fact, you you met him. Oh, is he? He's the fam. He's the the guy we fought. I don't think I ever figured out that particular At mystery. Home, and you guys were going to talk, and then I said, why are we talking? And I blasted him. Yeah, you were like, fuck you! Oh, the Damon's other... Damon's best friend. Yeah, yeah the yeah. other guy? Yeah. Oh. So, the other vampire person? Yeah. I said his name like 16 times. Liz. The map that you guys have has his name written on it. You know who has the map? <laughs> Logan. Thick <laughs> The immovable rod was in his room. <laughs> like, this, see, again, this doesn't help when we don't have everyone here. His name was written over his He's, door. Okay, so yeah, it's Stuart. I remember, Stuart. Gary, I remember all of that vividly. <laughs> I, I can't remember the names of people that I've met, like, yesterday. Like, I, can, like, I can't remember names of anybody. I, you guys are actually doing pretty good. Stuart J? I mess up names of friends. I've called poor Ashley, like, all kinds of names. I don't even know. I'll tell you the game plan was to see if you guys could get half right and call that, out and you guys got it. Okay. Yeah. Was was the commander named Daxio? No, something like that. No. Stu- Stuart. Was... Stuart. Stuart. Stop saying Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> it was Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> Damon and Stuart. I just always really liked saying Stuart, and then and then. You would get mad, and then that's just going to make me do it all the more. Steward. Stuart. Does it start with a J? No. Does it start with a D? No. Does it start with a Does it start with an A? You get it Does it start with a B? Phil! Does it start with a Philion. What? No. Philip? <laughs> what? Philion? Steward Philip? Philip. Is Steward. that what you want to say? I was going to say Philion. This is gonna be real, this is gonna be make for some real exciting. Stuart Fillion, Nathan Fillion's. <laughs> okay, Nathan Fillion. I would bone him so hard. He's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, I dressed up as Mal. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> what is oh, a Fillion? <laughs> and you say. Philip. Johnson. Oh, 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 that guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once you said it, then I was like, oh, okay, yeah. But All right, the guy to... whose name I forgot over and over and over. And over. He hypnotized <laughs> you, Don. Yeah. yeah, you 
Shit. You, you did. You got uh, you got charmed by him. You should All right. Have, like little notes that say Pavel hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back to the that other question. I'll give you guys. There's a, something about that name I just can't remember. Family name of the ass. We'll do away with the family name. And if, oh, okay. Is it gonna be uh, if I give you options for what was yes. on his signet ring? Would that be a better? No, because I don't the, think any of us saw his signet ring. If you gave us, I think that was only Logan. Options for his family name, then that would probably be better, but I don't think any of us saw the I don't even remember ring. anyone looting him. To be yeah. Honest. I, <laughs> I, would, I didn't know one that I remember, but I... Alright. So, option A, A will be Taryn. Option B, Karen. <laughs> option C, Willet. Option <laughs> D, Bonsley. Oh, it's Bonsley. It's Bonsley. Bonsley. <laughs> yeah. Once I heard it, I was like, "Yeah, fucking Bonsley." I heard the third. I'm like, "Option D." I don't know what he's saying. But, it's <laughs> <Bonsley. D. laughs> but I'm like, "Option A." Uh, option D, Bonsley. <laughs> Option A. Well, well, once you started with Taryn, then you said where, and I was like, "Oh fuck, do I not remember who this is?" But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's one last Laren question. and Jaren. Fuck, fuck, dude. Tell them no more questions. We're done with them. Who is your greatest enemy? What is his favorite color? Who is your greatest enemy? Who is your greatest enemy? Who are you? You feel... How does he know you so well? How do you? How? I'm gonna turn back to the to the regular orc, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like. I mean, if he's how do you know him so? He's asking for my specific greatest enemy. You would you would assume from like all the other questions that are kind of like group related. This is like who is you guys' greatest enemy uh, currently? Mother. I figure mother is our greatest enemy currently. Wait, she's your mother? I Geeko would have agreed with that. Well, who would Geeko say? I don't think we really... Well, mine currently is the Night Mistress, the one... Well, the Night, you know, mistress, who's, would be, night mistress would be considered... You know, my, my nemesis, personally. But, <laughs> well, you know, yours might be like your father. I, no, that's, I don't know that... That's who Mother is, is Night Mistress. She is your mother? No, no, that's what they call her, is they call her mother. Oh, well, that's very confusing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Especially since my- Smith, who is the tavern owner, not to be confused with the town Smith, who his name is tavern S owner. <laughs> um, yes, be, which is like, even more confusing like with it. the fact that with my backstory, my mother is my greatest enemy. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Mine too. I'm gonna Ooh. say mother. I mean, not Don's, but mine. He doesn't respond to you, and the next thing you know, you are back in the smoke sewers, and in your hand, you hold a small crystalline heart. <laughs> you got a... It looks like anatomically correct. Uh, yeah, it's not like a fucking... For what species? <laughs> like a little chalk. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, like, is it for a halfling? Because... It's not like a like an operating heart, guys. It's like a little crystalline. Kiko has oh. a different heart than these humans. And Look, okay, porn is hard to come by in this world, okay? So I guess I'm gonna say we're hard to come. Uh I'm short, so I can't it's right. windows. You can come and watch me and Pagan anytime you want. We're open to that. I'm gonna just quietly think. Have you spoken to Pagan though? Um okay, so he comes out of it and he's like, give me that. I need it. What are you doing? Eat it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's happening? He's chewing on the glass. <laughs> Can I roll? Um, yeah, anytime you want. I just, yeah. What do you? No, what are you roll? <laughs> she got a four. I four. Got a four. <laughs> I it she, doesn't really fucking matter what I roll. She wanted to identify what you roll. Yeah, but you have to say what you're rolling before you roll it, because otherwise you're just like, I'm, I, 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 I'm sorry, I think that, you know? that I wanted to roll for the fact that, like, why does he want it? I was so like, insight? 
Yeah, and so, like, I was like... Well, you, you guys would remember, <coughs> even with the four, that, like, these trials are to, like, help him uh, get, like, portions of himself back. Memories? Or, yeah, but he, like, straight power. up just tried to, like, take it from me, and I'm not about that, like... This was our to, agreement. We need to have a conversation first. Like, you're just touching me. It makes me uncomfortable. I call rape. We don't want that. First we'll get involved. That's, that's his heart, dude. And? It's my well, hand. I feel like his heart's a little more important. Yeah, well, I gotta talk to the hand because the face <laughs> don't give a damn. <laughs> Alright. So... Give it to me. I just coined that in the 1300s, by the way. <laughs> I want my vision, give it to him. Okay. I, I want my vision. Slowly give it, <laughs> like, we'll stare down at Nico. I want my vision. Like, that's, that's, right, right, that's why so I brought you here. Snatch it out of your hand, and he'll put it in his pocket, probably next to his little brain. Um, right. That was it. That was all of my trials. What divination would you like for me to do? So do we each get one? There are three total. Nice. You could all, all... So if we had done even more poorly than we did, would you have just not helped us at all and then you just would have been a dick? And you would have just waited all of that time and gotten all old and then sat there and then just been like, well, I <coughs> guess I'll die. I don't have to justify myself to you, halfling. That is the best answer. <laughs> Touche, sir! <laughs> now, what are your questions? I am busy. I have to make a sissy. That is not helpful. <laughs> so we each get a question about our lives. Past, Cur future, present. You could ask how you die. She, she, what? She die. Well, in the future. Oh, how you die in the future? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Now I gotta make a I'm not going to. I gotta make a Oh, that would be really interesting, <laughs> though, to, to walk outside if I end. Uh, and, like, I know it's coming. It's like, it's gonna be a gold dragon takes a shit on your face. And I'm like, and then you're like, a gold dragon lumbers up. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Don't do the no! Oh, God! Uh. You don't have to ask now. Come back later if you need more time. But make a decision and get out. I have my question. Say it. Say it. What happened to me for that whole weird nebulous period that I was just not having my memory for a very long period of time and then I wound up in Mopar? Do I smell an ass? Um, oh, and then I will shapeshift into giant elk form. Yeah. Oh, but also... <gasps> pa! Or I would never make <laughs> you smell his hairs. Let me talk! They're from the future, dude! Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll to seduce the dragon. So now you know I'm legit- There are goblins here! 